Alrighty, everyone, what is going on, and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're getting into part number 19 of the Fallout 4 series. Nearly at 20 episodes, which is uh, definitely, I think, yeah, the longest series I've done. Um, unless we count Solo to Diamond, that's at like, bloody 100. <laughs> but um, we obviously seasonally reset that. But anyway, with that said, last episode, we made our way up to the Pridwin, which is where we're at right now. Um, I'm going to grab a few Brotherhood of Steel missions, uh, just because why not? I do not plan on siding with them. I just am going to grab a few Brotherhood of Steel missions, because why not? But with that said, pretty much the goal is just to grab a few more side missions and do them for this episode. It is going to be another side mission episode. I'm thinking for part 20, we'll do the main missions. So in the next part after this one, we will head to the Glowing Sea, start ascertaining that, and we'll start making our way towards getting to the Institute and doing missions for them because they are going to be my uh, my faction of choice for this playthrough. Seems I've never finished the game with the Institute. I don't really want to either to be honest but seems as how it's an ending I haven't experienced before I might as well give it a go. But with that said, uh, the more missions the better, the more stuff to do, the more XP to gain. So that's why we're with the Brotherhood right now. From what I remember, this address is absolutely boring as fuck. <laughs> um, but you have to listen to it, I suppose. Everyone did. It's it's like the initiate. Brothers and sisters. Here, yeah. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressive. Without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I. I'm not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Victorium. You know, that wasn't a bad speech. I don't know why I said that was boring. Hey, Max and Lad. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Um, I'm convinced. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us, seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers. You couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Dude just went through the fucking vest. Um, open your personal storage container, huh? I usually skip that part, to be honest. <laughs> From what I remember. I don't know if I use the- I don't use power arm, honestly. It's, it makes you chunky. Uh, I don't know. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. 
Carry on. Congratulations on the promotion. Thank you. We gotta talk to what's her name? I oh, know this is a dance. Let's go dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? Uh he's dedicated, he's delusional. <laughs> he's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Won't let you down, lad. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um... I'm going. Uh, I'll take him. Sounds yeah. good. Let's go. Outstanding. I'm gonna take him and then send him straight back home. There you go. There's free free XP. Hey. What do you want? What's up? Uh, get out of here. I think I need to run my mission solo for a while. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision, but it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. I'll see you at Sanctuary Led. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's get let's get introduced to these people. Where is she? Here she is, Miss Ingram. Dr. Ingram. So you're the new recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. Uh, you sound disappointed. I can handle myself. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. Someone's in the camera. Usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Full plate? Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Um, I understand. I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. All good. Uh, bay 3. It's Bay 4. Uh, let's see if there's any adjustments I can make. What did she say? The left leg. You can put vault tech paint on it. Um, I wonder what, what they'd think of that. <laughs> I'm running low on rubber to make all of these. I don't have enough Voltec paint to fully deck the thing out anyway. Um, you know what, I'll get in it for now and we'll take it back to Sanctuary. Just so I have it. This is obviously better power armor than the one you get at the start of the game, so... I got 12 fusion cores, that's not bad. This pistol obviously does not go with the, um, what do you call it? Oh, uh, what's good? Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Uh, looks uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons. But I'll take anything useful. 
Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. There it is. Sounds good. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. Yeah. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Yeah. Lock Loctite. Well, I, say, I was going to say, I can open something. I got master hacking. Overwhelm, definitely not. Settlements. Personality, ah, uh, damn. Pretty, you don't get in trouble for doing this, as far as I'm aware. Disciplines disappeared. I'm just gonna keep guessing until I get it. Um, uh, unless I get something that's actually like, okay, three, that might be good. And it's probably the I O I O N. No, it's not. It's the uh, S T in the middle, I think. Nope. Fuck's sake. All right, let's just keep going. We'll get it eventually. Mistrusting. Nope. Interrogate. Nope. Annihilated, God. there it is. No, you don't get in trouble for doing that as far as I'm aware. And you can take all of this stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do is get out of this. So, how do you dismount again? Hold Y. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna be able to stealth in that big rig. S crouch. Quick save. I'll be borrowing that. Alright, uh, this comes up going away, so I'm just gonna leave. As I said, I think if I get in here, like if I enter, that will increase my carry weight, and I should be okay. Depending on how over I actually am. Yep, there it is. Uh, you can't craft. We'll go back to Sanctuary and sort out the crafting. Let's do the rest of this, uh, let's do the rest of the introduction missions. I know Mr. Proctor Quinton, I think his name is. Quinlan, sorry, Quinlan. This dude's got some missions for you. I did not know he had a cat. I've never noticed that. Uh, wrong person. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm, perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, meeting the crew. You wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I could help. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Thanks, lad. Uh, do I have any to give him? Please, finish your introductions by all... Okay, you can't do that. Alright. What's good, lad? Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? I am. Sure. Go right ahead. Alright. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation? for an extended period of time. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. What an idiot. Sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or 
come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease. Uh, never been sick. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Not my type. I'm going to be sarcastic. Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk and it was a dare and... Uh... That hardly qualifies. So I'll just put no. Last <laughs> question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood? Whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh, moral question. Only to defend myself. No, no problem whatsoever. Nope. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Do you do it for free? Probably not. Stingers. Uh, that's everything, I think. Meet with Elder Maxon. Oh, I gotta go back. This is where he gives you the buddy minigun mission. That is a pretty fun mission. I can't lie. Where even is he? Yeah, he's out. He's out front. I don't think I checked my belongings. I always forget that. It's a miscellaneous quest as far as I'm aware. Let's go talk to Maxon though and uh, minigun down some super mutants. I think we could do that in this episode. That is, I, I find that a fun mission. What's good lad? Sir. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew, Ready for your next assignment, brother? I am. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Let's do it. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Too easy, lad. I go to you. Yeah, we'll make we'll make this a Brotherhood mission, I think. Uh Brotherhood episode. We could probably do we could probably do that with every faction to be honest. We can get the castle, I think, with the Minutemen without properly siding with them, as far as I'm aware. And we can also do the, a little bit of the railroad. I don't know how much. I just need to stay familiarized, I suppose, with uh you know, that's not the vertebrate that we want to take by the looks of it. Is it? No. Alright, I need to go down here. I know you can't run very fast in these things, but I'll try. Due to the spraying. Alright, this is the one we're looking for. Let's go ahead and hop in. No, oh, you're gonna get my power out of the dirty. Come on, man. Alright, let's make it happen. They're shooting the fucking. What are they doing? I should be gunning them down. Come on then, let me at him. Fucking my look. I couldn't kill him, unfortunately. I'll try to keep him in your sight. Look at him, the beast. Fucking behemoth. That's crazy. Oh shit. Bro, the vibration coming through my control. Holy shit.
Does this thing overheat? I don't think it does. Alright, big lads down. Now to get rid of the little lads. Repairs? We barely got touched. This guy's hitting us more than the behemoth did. Oh, that's a legendary dude. I was wondering why he's fucking not dying. Who are they beefing with? I'm not getting out this thing, I hope you understand. I'm killing this legendary butcher motherfucker. Oh, the Milex came across because I shot at them. That's, that's cool. You're gonna have to kick me out this thing. If you want me to get out. I'm making full utilization of the weapons I've been equipped with before I hop out. Is there anyone else I can shoot? There is a super mutant dead ahead. I don't know where he is, but his C is Marco. Alright, fine, I'll get out. Have fun, lad. Alright, and now he comes in division. What a troll. I might as well I should equip that gorse rifle. Make it make it actually like a heavy uh what do you call it? A heavy loadout. Do I even have cartridges for it? Yeah, I do. I don't think I'm even... No, I'm not really prepared to be using that, to be honest. Do I have any heavy weaponry? I don't think I do. Righteous Authority, I suppose, but I got no cells. Combat shotgun. I mean, I have a lot of ammo for it, so... I guess this will do. I just need to find, like, a pipe rifle or something. The amount of... 13 rounds that I have is actually crazy. Anyway, Fort Strong, collapsed them all. Absolute light work. Behemoth, what do you got on you? He's got Deathclaw. True, I am a little bit full on my character at the moment. I know how much. Okay, the power armor extends my inventory like rather effectively, to be honest. So it gives me a little bit of breathing room. Say anything important over here? A vase? Is that how you say it? Vase? I don't know why, but I just second guessed my pronunciation. Um, Alright, indoors we go. Looks like we have to actually go wipe out the, the big bad brutes inside the area. Um, so let's go ahead and enter the armory. That's what's good. This place will be crawling with them. I've got power armor on. I'm just gonna run at them with this shotgun and hopefully there's no issues. We've got enough stim packs for that task as well, so. No green stop here. Let's pick lock this. Nice. Let's play. Holy shit, this thing sucks. This thing actually sucks. Like, this is close range shotgun. I don't have any upgrades to shotguns, though, so I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using it though due to this sheer amount of ammo I have. I'm gonna take a few hits obviously, but that's just how it's gonna have to work. Um, another novice door. I wonder what's in this one. Fuck's sake. So close, yet so far. Ah, oh, there it is. Yes. Um. Nice. Oh, that's a, that's a magazine. Alright, I'll take that. Gotta be getting close to that achievement, I think. There's some good ammo, thank you very much. And mini nuke as well, thank you. Death fan, thank you. Where, where are these dudes? Oh, there's a legendary dude? Ah, oh, shit. If there's a legendary dude, look. I'm gonna pulse grenade him. Hey! Smoke. The butcher doesn't give a shit. He's just going to evolve. I know. I know that. 
but... Uh, it's just the legendary dude left getting the deliverer out. He's taking too many fucking bullets. Look, lad. I gave it to you easy. But now you're dead. Incinerary combat rifle. Alright, that might. That's literally just a better version of what I'm already using. Pop stim pack. What else they got stashed in here? Enlist in the Brotherhood, fair enough. Technical document, there you go, I got something. It's what we were looking for for Mr. Proctor Quinlan. I, I know it's not only one though, the dude wants like a hundred of the damn things. <laughs> Battered clipboard. Why is it a plastic pumpkin? I'll take it, I guess. Oh, I know why I couldn't do any upgrades, it's because like, I got nothing stashed in there. Yeah, true, that makes sense. Dinner forks, etc. TV dinner tray. Salt shaker, thank you. Just what I was looking for, a salt shaker. I think I've looted all these dudes already. We need to hit the second floor. Any, If there's a staircase, I want to take that over the elevator, but it doesn't look like there's a staircase, so... Let's hop in. Where was it? Here? Yeah. Might not even go up. Might go down. Who fucking knows? Might take us to like the complete wrong area. This is a long ass elevator ride. Right? Where am I even going? Where have I ended up? I don't even know. Used oil can, you're right. I'll take it. Scissors. I'll take it. Let's keep going. Workbench. First aid, beautiful. Uh, telephone, beautiful. Yes, I know I leveled up. Give me some time. But it's on the second floor. Why did that seem so. No, are we? I haven't been in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought this mutant hound was dead. Like, I saw that dude dead on the floor, and that's like the whole reason I thought. Have I been here yet? But he's not. He's, he's definitely alive. Why does this dude sound like. That dude sounded like he had a normal voice. Holy shit. So with the missile launcher, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Alright, area secure, there you go. Done. I'll be taking that missile launcher off your hands. And whatever loot you have stashed in here as well. I'm gonna keep looking. 10 millimeter rounds, that's what we like to see. Don't care how many it is. Any sort of 10 millimeter rounds, I am happy. I do not need your launcher. Uh, I got plenty of missiles, honestly. I have a missile launcher. I don't know where I put it. Alright, here's their little munition supply. It looks like I can't get into it, though, unfortunately. Beautiful soundtrack. Can't open any of these, can I? No. What was the point of having a staircase down here if you can't loot literally anything? And there's not even an exit either. It's a one way. Ah <laughs> uh, well, it is what it is. Alright, with that said though, that is that mission. Now we report back to Maxon and he asks us to join the Brotherhood officially. Uh, actually no, we're already in the Brotherhood, aren't we? And I say no, either way. Whenever they try to make me fully commit, I just say no. I need time to think about it, man. No, you're doing the fucking institute. Literally the the number one opposition. Oh, what's good, OG? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Uh, agree. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. 
These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't be sorry, lad. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Thank you. Uh, well, Dan's just decided to come along. He's not my companion. I just met him here, but I got some positive interaction with him, though. Like he said, he loved that, so that's good. Not complaining about that. Um, and then we further proceed. We'll go debrief with Maxon. And uh, that's... A little bit of the Brotherhood questline done. Probably about all I'll do, to be honest, because I don't obviously don't want to overcommit to them and then accidentally decide to side with them, because that's just how it is. Nah, I, I don't side with these clowns anyway. I usually side with the railroad off a normal playthrough. I just really like their weaponry, for one. I think their motives are the best. I, I know a lot of people disagree with that, but... <laughs> yeah, that's just my opinion. But we'll fast travel back up to... Uh, and we will have a chat to the big lad, and hopefully he comes through, and is nice. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say at the moment, to be honest. But yeah, that's a Brotherhood of Steel episode. To the people who like the Brotherhood of Steel, there you go. I feel like I'm obligated to do a Minuteman and Railroad episode now, but I I probably won't do a Minuteman one. Fucking, I don't know. Those missions are just boring, in my Elder opinion. Maxon. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Appreciate it. It was an honor. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. So, fast travel when I can fast travel on my own. That's not very useful. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of you. Look, man, I don't mean to interrupt, but you kind of over me, so I'm just going to quickly drop your little shitty grenades that you gave me. Um, so I can actually move. Elder. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that He looked mad, eh? <laughs> We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Uh, anything you need? Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Uh, no questions. Right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. Alright, so that's just setting up a future mission to take it to him once we get up to that stage the main mission. So there's no other primary brotherhood quest, obviously, until we get to that stage, which is post Virgil. Um, true. I think I went out the wrong door there. Yeah, I did. I do that all the time. I remember. I remember having this issue. 
Just shut up. Wasn't talking to you. Leave me alone. I'll be taking that. Um, with that said, though, that's this episode done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. Um, uh, yeah, otherwise, leave a like if you did. Drop a sub notification bell. Also, make sure to come check out my Twitch stream. Link's description down below. Love to see you guys there. Otherwise, that's all there is to it. Um, next episode, we will go ahead and go meet Virgil in the Glowing Sea. As I said, I will cut out the whole process of getting there, probably. And I will just include when you meet the children of Adam, and then from there, probably. But with that said, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for hanging around. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, and otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.